The Great Adventure recreates history's famed story of the outlaw and the nun. Tomorrow night on the CBS Television Network. Art Mike Letters House Party. This portion brought to you by Pillsbury. Where the good things you make begin with the best. Pillsbury's best. Now, here's Art. Thank you. Well, we have two boys and two girls from the Topper Avenue School in San Pedro today. That means that they came up here from our seaport town of San Pedro, which meant about an hour, an hour's ride, wasn't it? My, what a bright-looking little girl you are with blue eyes, and you have a boyish haircut. You're not a boy, are you? I'm a girl. You are a girl. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad to hear that. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. That's just your first name. You have a last name? What is it? Nicole Bussold, Mary Christina. Was that all one name? Buchholden? Books. Books holding Anna Christina. Books holding Anna Christina. Oh, what kind of a name is that? That's a Dutch name. You're a little Dutch girl. I bet you can't spell your last name, can you? I can hardly pronounce it. <laughs> well, how old are you, Nicole? Five. Yeah. I'm going to go down the line here today and ask you children who are all five, and I guess maybe one six, what is happiness? You know, there was a whole book out on that. It was an awfully cute book. I, my idea of happiness is a peanut butter sandwich with three layers. What, what is happiness to you? Iron the clothes. Ironing clothes is happiness to you. Have you ever ironed clothes? No. Would you want an iron of your own? Just standing there ironing. Oh, that's interesting. What's your name, young fella? Don. Whole name? Don Brown. Don Brown? Look at me and let me see those big... Boy, look at the size of those eyes. They're going to get you into problems for years. <laughs> he nods, yes. What is happiness, Donald Brown, to you? I think it's eating a popsicle. Eating a popsicle. Any special flavor? What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry. A strawberry popsicle. That's his idea of happiness. What's your name? Helene Weisswasser. Helene Weisswasser. Well, Helene, what is your idea of happiness? Um, to have a nice home and have nice parents. And you do have a nice home and have nice parents. So you're happy. Well, that's good. And here's old Carrot Top. This boy looks like a junior edition of Dennis the Menace. <laughs> What's your name? It's Christopher Mitchell Harrison. Well, they call you Kit, don't they? Kit, what is your idea of happiness? Sleeping in a comfortable bed. <laughs> Did you get that kind of juicy sleeping? <laughs> sleeping in a comfortable bed. Now, the next thing I told you to be thinking about that I think is fun when you're, you're as young as you are is what would you buy first if you had a million dollars? I don't know if you know how much a million dollars is even, but it's a lot of money. What would you buy first, Kit? This whole studio. This whole studio? <laughs> well, I hope you wouldn't change the staff any. Would you fire me? No. Would you give me a raise? Yes. How much would you give me? $100. I hope you buy the studio. <laughs> well, Helene Weisswasser, what would you buy first at your age if you had a million dollars? Um, I'd buy Cadillac for my mother. What color? Pink and white. A pink and white Cadillac. What would you buy but Donald Brown? I would buy a two-story house and a Thunderbird. That's interesting, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What would you buy, Miss Nicole Bookshun Bartnovich and Jeff Lee? A kissy doll. A kissy doll. <laughs> You're a kissy girl, aren't you? Well, now the next question, and this is one of my favorite for kids your age because it lets you use your imagination. If you were going to be a zoo animal, what zoo animal would you be? Giraffe. A giraffe. Why would you be a giraffe? Don't make any noise. <laughs> Interesting. What would you be, uh, Helene? A lion. Why? Because I like to roar. <laughs> <laughs> what would you be, uh, Donald Brown? A purple hippopotamus. A what? A purple hippopotamus. <laughs> a purple hippopotamus. What a horrible thought that is. Why did you pick a purple hippopotamus? Because they, because they stand in the water. Yeah, but why purple? Because it's a silly color. <laughs> it is a silly color. <laughs> Nothing sillier than a purple hippopotamus. <laughs> and uh, what would you be, Nicole? An uh, elephant. Why'd you pick an elephant? Because um, I've never been an elephant. <laughs> That's a good reason. 
Well, weren't they delightful children? Didn't you enjoy them? We have for their school a portable television set furnished by Spiegel, Chicago's famous mail order house. The girls get some smart shirts and blouses from Ship and Shore. Oh, they'll like those. And the, and the boys get a giant ant farm by Kosman and Company with the world's tiniest engineers digging all kinds of tunnels. Then each boy and each girl gets his own deluxe model radio flyer wagon by the, the Radio Steel and Manufacturing Company. And because kids of this size should be encouraged to take up music, we have for each of them a beautiful, easy-to-play Honer Melodica. And that's for each of them. <laughs>